Well, today on the Boiling Point, we're going to be talking to Stephen Taylor a little bit about gas trains on the boiler, so it would be awesome information. Now, one thing that we'd love for you to do is make sure that you're liking and you're sharing and you're following all the things that we're doing, but we have a new channel that is um, uh, theboilerwarehouse.com that you can follow all of the stuff that's going on from a part standpoint. We've got new Instagram. We've got the whole deal, so make sure you're checking those out. And we'll be talking with Stephen today on The Boiling Point. Welcome to The Boiling Point. I'm Richie Ware and this is Stephen Taylor. Now we're going to be talking about gas trains today. It's something that uh, is, a, is a common term out there, but let's talk about it. What is a gas train first? I thought we were just going to talk about gas. I gas, I, about yeah, well, that's <laughs> typical. We're <laughs> old, plenty so we of got that, plenty, right. plenty of that. So <laughs> go ahead. Okay, so this is a, uh, a Siemens um, gas assembly. And the, the big difference, main difference between the Siemens and the standard gas valve setup is the Siemens is all together. So you have two gas valves, you have a gas regulator, proving, uh, the, the vent all comes out there. So it's really compact and it just let, allows you to put all those components in one compact package. Well, but what's a gas train? Well, gas train. We talked about that first. <laughs> what's a gas train? <laughs> the, the gas train is, is the proving valves and the control valves, not the control valves, the block valves to allow gas into the burner. Okay. That's what it is. Gotcha. Along with all the pressure switches and the sensing devices and, and all that. That's what it is. And you you really just don't put a valve in a, in line and, and, and just go, right? No. I mean there's a lot that goes into it. A lot that goes into train. it. It's gotta be sized properly for the for the gas train. You gotta know what switches you want to have. The regulator's gotta be sized for the incoming and out outlet pressure, so there's a lot of calculations that go into place before you ever size that, before you ever select that gas train. Right. Now this particular one's got um, uh, valve proving. Auto flame valve it. proving, which is which is something pretty um, uh, particular for auto flame. And, and the way they prove the valves, what you want to do, you want to prove that this valve doesn't leak and that this valve doesn't leak. So what they do, they, they cycle the boiler off, shut both of these valves, this one is shut, and then the valve proving, we're checking for pressure inside, in between those valves. Mm. As long as the pressure stays the same for a 20 second, 30 second period, we know both valves are, are good. If the pressure starts to drop off, alarm goes off, hey, check your valves when I'm leaking. The other thing it will do is it will, uh, you know, shut one valve and, and open the other one and check to see that, there, that, that the vent valve's not leaking. It, it just it goes to a sequence to make sure this valve is held true, this one is held, this one is held. Mm -hmm. So it'll, um, you know, it'll, it'll shut these two valves, open this one, which vents the gas between the valves, shut this one back off, and then check to see if the pressure builds back up. If it Got does, it. this valve's leaking. Got it. So that, those are just the things it does to check to make sure you have valve proving there. We call it valve proving to make sure you prove the valve are closed and, and they're not leaking. Yeah, and that's a really good safety feature, it's obviously. An awesome safety feature for that Autoflame has put together to really prove those valves and make sure you don't have a gas valve leaking. And it does it every time the valve cycle. Right. Every time the boiler cycles off and cycles back on, it proves those valves again to make sure they're, they're tight. Now, older gas trains, I remember, you know, you had two valves and yeah. so two huge valves was that was that a is there a was there a distance between each valve that had to be i mean what because you've got this thing really close there, together there really the wasn't you just you just put them in there and then put a t between them so you could put a, a vent valve in between them to vent that gas off for, for code mm -hmm. um but there really wasn't a distance but the problem with them is they are so big like if you get this is a two and a half inch gas train on the outlet but the valve itself is an inch and a quarter mm. because of the full port capacity of those valves, the standard gas valve, it's gonna be a two and a half inch valve, which is gonna be a two huge valves. And then you got a gas regulator, all that stuff. It's gonna take up a lot more room and it's just a lot more bulk there. Mm -hmm. These things are, they're really, really good in really tight situations, but they're also, you know, much more economical because everything is in one package. You're not buying, you know, 50 pounds of, of product when you can do it with 15 pounds. Right, right. And so obviously very important for the gas train to make sure that it is delivering the right uh, pressure to uh, Ab the burner. Absolutely. And, and, and this thing is sensing all the time. You see a aluminum sensing line here that runs all the way down there. So, that, so we're not sensing right at the regulator. 
we're sensing way downstream mm. to control the pressure and it just does a lot better job of controlling that, that outlet pressure. Awesome. We're, we're normally on a, on a gas regulator, you'll be checking the pressure before this valve so you mm -hmm. don't know what the pressure is going, going across those valves, what the pressure drop is. This one, we're checking the pressure downstream of those valves, mm -hmm. so we've already taken into calculation the pressure drop through those valves and just, it's a lot better control feature than, than, uh, than a standard setup. Awesome. Well, if uh, you're interested in uh, maybe even talking a little bit of gas trains, you obviously know that you can call this guy, but you also check out our Boiler University and uh, learn even more about uh, what's going on there. So uh, we'll see you next time on the Boiler Point.